So many questions we need answered. Thirteen years later. Year of the Realm 873. The Nysa Defile, the Dalmechian Republic. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. No kidding. Either did the little splat. So I think seeing them die, our, our brother in arms, reminded us of our saw. brother's the death. Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Possible death? Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. As we let uh, our brother down in both circumstances. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. The big question in my mind is, are we the dominant a chance encounter of Ifrit? I know I got it wrong. I said Fenrir, okay? I got it wrong. <laughs> in the first video. Ugh. I won't live that down anytime soon. The Icon abilities Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade on the abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired, new abilities must be equipped on the gear and icons tab. How do they expect us to kill something that can do this? They don't. Only the girl holding its leash. Or maybe we're a conduit. We saw we saw that person that was on fire right before it happened. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's, oh, cool. Look at the bottom right. There's a, uh, a pixel art version of Wyvern. Oh, I love that. That looks so cool. So Rising Flames. And we got Scarlet Cyclone. Spin quickly, creating a ring of fire that burns all enemies in range. And can we change this? Doesn't look like it. Gear. Oh, maybe this is where we change it? Yeah. And then Phoenix Shift. Ah, okay. So we're going to be able to select different icons to channel. Maybe we're just a conduit for all kinds of different icons. Maybe that's the idea. Okay. We got to we got to check out the active time lore just to get caught up. The Nysa Defiles are current location, a deep arid valley located in the eastern part of the Dalmechian Republic. During the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, it was the site of repeated skirmishes. As the Iron Kingdom attempted to make incursions into Dalmechian territory. I, uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do like to read everything and get into the world and the story. The Branded Soldier. Bearers forced to fight for the nations that enslave them. I think we established that earlier that that was the mark of a slave. Able to cast powerful magics yet entirely disposable. They are often placed on the front lines in battle or assigned to highly dangerous scouting or assassination missions, which just sounds like that's what we're on. The Bastards. A unit of Imperial Army assassins. Yep, tasked with taking the head of the Iron Kingdom's dominant Shiva, or whoever the dominant is of Shiva, I can't remember her name. Uh, Warden of Ice and Vessel for the Icon Shiva. All of its members, including its leader, Tiamat, are bearers. Branded men pressed into servitude for their ability to wield magic. Okay, so bearers are like a conduit for uh, 
for magic or for the icons magic. I don't know. Titan. Oh, that was so epic, that battle. The Warden of Earth, of whom Hugo Kupka is the current dominant. He takes the form of a stone-skinned giant whose granite fists shake the earth with every mighty pummel. Titan's dominant awakens among the people, peoples of the Dalmechian deserts. The recipient of his strength being granted great power and status by the Republic in return for a commitment to protect the nation in times of war. Shiva, the Warden of Ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemies' blood run cold. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against the Republican forces in the Nisa Defile, where she dueled against Titan, the Icon of Earth. And then finally, us. A slave soldier for the Holy Empire of Sandbrek. Now in his 13th year of servitude, though drafted as a frontline infantryman, the magical might granted him by the Blessing of the Phoenix quickly saw him promoted to an elite squadron of assassins, where he was assigned the moniker by which he is now known. Their latest mission to descend into the Nysa Defile, where bloody battle rages between the Iron Kingdom and the Republic of Dalmechia, and take the head of Shiva's dominant. Let's rock. Beautiful. Stone skin tonic. All the old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? I guess that's Shiva's work. Ooh. Okay, so I can bring up our interface. Oh, and we can attack any time. Okay. It's good to know. Strike the by the flames. Or dead bodies. Look at the look at just the disaster. Oh. Gotta gotta move around its style, eh? Stone skin tonic. Hear the ice cracking. Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Is that? Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. Oh. It's her, the dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominants are unclean aberrations born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Let's go. <laughs> Although I'm not a huge fan of assassination, if I'm being honest. She wasn't from before, was she? In the earlier in the timeline, I don't remember the faces very well. What alvation now, King Alad Scully asked. Let 
this. Okay. Care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. Why? You focus on the target. Understood. Oh, they want me to take her on. Okay. okay. All right, we're getting back into this. Damn, she's tough. Dodge it! Oh, yeah. Oh, damn it! Whoo, parry! Oh, yes, there's parrying too. You square just an opponent attacks to parry the strike, temporarily slowing time and leaving the opponent open to a counter. Maybe I should use one of these potions. I thought I dodged that. Oh shit! Oh, I'm not, not so good at dodging. <laughs> Got him this time! Yes! Boom! Yes! Stagger, baby! Boom! What's she doing? I don't like this! Whoa! Stop talking and move! Can we jump and dodge? Yes. Ugh, fucking icon. Icon? She's not even fully primed. Oh god. Oh god. High potion. Ow. Damn it. Dodge you that time? I tried to parry. Oh, dodge that! Oh god, that's so much damage. I potion that. It's broken. I will not have their blood on my hands. Yes, precision dodge. Oh, Phoenix, that out of the way. Okay, okay, this is this is a tough one. Boom. Nope. Staggered again, baby. That did. <laughs> Shiva defeated. Okay. A weakened Shiva. Man, the fighting's intense. So I have to be good, apparently, to get spoils? Oh, I got them this time. I think I just didn't get spoils before. I mean, I used a bunch of potions there. Frozen Tear. And as she fought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered on the bloodstained earth below. Dalmechian soldier account of the Battle of Nisa, year 0, 873. Used in crafting, we got potions, high potions, and steel silk. A rare case in which hyperbole has played no role in the item's nomenclature. Steel silk is every bit as strong as steel, yet soft as silk. Making it a popular choice for tailors tasked with crafting durable armor that does not hinder movement. So no, we did did not recognize her. It's like so we didn't get a good look at her. Is she dead? I don't think so. No, okay. Well, what are you waiting for?
Oh, it is her. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The gray hair. Okay. No. No, that's... Not you. Not here. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. Oh. This game is brutal. The action doesn't what is stop. Wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominic. I know her. Know her? Look around you. Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here. Let's go, baby. Oh, the combo. Stay down. <laughs> Yeah! Boom! It's over. Woo! Fucked him up. Now that that's done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. We're gonna have to fight him. Take her head so we can be done with this. So I wasn't 100 percent sure on her relationship to us. Would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. Hell yeah. I just fight to survive. And you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return empty handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll yes. Have I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today, and neither is she. Boom! Let's find out. Too slow. <clears throat> Out. Got me with that one. Oh yeah, I should try to do the uh, parrying, right? Oh. Let's try it this time. Too early. <clears throat> Too late? Oh shit! Woo! Stagger, baby! Oh, dodge it! Woo! Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? It's so cool. trained you. Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't bear Harry, the same baby. Breath, Sergeant. Woo, ability I've change. always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like torn Oh, blankets. God. Then you will die. Ow. As you Stone skin. 13 years ago. Not this time. I think I'm more of a dodger than a parrier. Boom! Uppercut! Oh, too slow! Ow! Okay. Dive! Oh, yeah! The takedown, baby! Boom! The iconic punishment! This is like a combo, right? Oh, the sweet parry! 
Oh, I want to do like an iconic repose. Or iconic. Fuck. Oh, Tiamat. Isn't that another one of the icons? I'll just use the nomenclature for this game. Oh, I tried to get the parry off. Boom, uppercut, ability finished. Tiamat bested. Oh, I really, I really get into this combat, guys. <laughs> Trying to get some sweet combos off, but I'm a bit of a spammer. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Why right? To most, this nondescript lump of rough hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub one's toe. To the blacksmith, however, it is much, much more. For the metal contained within may be fashioned into inexpensive yet durable gear favored by warriors across the realm. And meteorite! Just as drops of molten iron fall from a smith's oven to the floor to cool, so too do they fall from the celestial foundry, where the gods forge the divine instruments of war. Or so it is believed. We call these otherworldly outcastings meteorites. <gasps> yes, we could pull out some nice moves, though. I mean, I don't see why we couldn't just take them, too. Based so on what just happened. Bloody wind. Sid's in every Final well, Fantasy game, I think. On, That's great. I love that voice actor, too. Fuck. Fuck. I always call him Clef Jaw because I think that's the character he played in Game of Thrones. It's our puppy, too. That was epic! It is like playing through a movie, though. I, the Final Fantasy games have kind of become that. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. See, I thought she might have been Shiva, but I guess that doesn't really make any sense. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. So ti Titan beat Shiva. My Obviously. Lady, the Thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. Technically, that's lightning, right? Oh, there's thunder too. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. She knows. She knows who it is. Gather the men. We have work to do. Now that's not our, our, that's not our mother, right? I'll get, I'll get all the names and relationships straight eventually. Is it really you?
the the um, materials are just gorgeous. And who's this fine hound I see before me? Oh. A fine hound who saved your life. That's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Are you, Sid? Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. Aware. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Crack her up. Another big dude. No. Ah! Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. Okay, I want to check something. Oh, you can even check the lore during the cutscenes. That's cool. Because I want to find out about... Well, let's start with goats. One of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone. So that's Hodor. Torgal, Clive's faithful friend. Now fully grown after the tragic events at Phoenix Gate. Clive believed that Torgal was lost to him forever. Or their paths were to cross again some 13 years later when Torgal's new master, Sid came to Clive's rescue in the depths of the Nysa Defile. Nysa Defile? Despite their long years apart, the two knew each other as if not a single day had passed since their separation. Sidolphus! <laughs> Cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nysa Defile, Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. Dominant of Shiva and Clive's childhood friend. Okay, so they're, f they're friends. There's a l little bit of a romantic thing uh, hinted at. It's Jill Warwick. In the depths of the Nysa Defile, the two came to blows at the orders of the armies that enslaved them. Jill fighting to defend the priests of the Iron Kingdom. Clive obeying the Empire's orders to take the head of Shiva's dominant. Exhausted from her tilt with Titan. Jill came close to falling to her assassin's blades, but was spared at the last moment when Clive's memories of their time together came flooding back. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, 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 Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. We need more genius giants. In fantasy. Final. Final fantasy. I don't think this is the final one. Oh, I'm so enjoying this. Well, let's head to the hideaway. I guess we're never actually going to be riding around the world. Tilt and rotate. Ah. That's where we were before. I guess these are roads. I don't know. Or boundaries. L3 is zoom. Oh, nice. Just want to like, kind of look around. 
The, oh, these are the different crystals, I guess? The withered remnants of a once verdant valley, long consumed by the blight. One would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. I guess we uh, just found out more about Sid. Central store. The Deadlands. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight sucked this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Can't use our magic here. Sounds like. Home sweet home. Hideaway. Oh, that's nice looking. <gasps> Boogle? Is that what place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nails. You must be starving. We grow them here. Believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. We saw some of these ruins in the other area. You're back. Ah, Talia. And this is the dominant. Hello, Talia. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Karen's an ironic name. Go. Have a look around. Isn't that the, the uh, boatman to Hades? Hide, hide away. <laughs> okay, we opened the detailed map now. Ah, okay. So we have we have bigger areas to explore, and I'm assuming they're going to get bigger. That's good. Because so far, we've been kind of directed. You reckon he's a soldier, then? I'd be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. Right there. Oh. Still hungry, are you? Might have some around here. Cantankerous crone. Oh no, no petting option. Two out of ten game. Huh. Yeah. Surly s that is what they're doing, isn't it? I did want to check out our uh Our abilities. So we've got 300 ability points. Guess I'll. Uh, I guess I'll learn taunt. It's just 40. Uh, flames of rebirth. Summon a massive pillar of fire that burns all enemies caught within the flames while also partially restoring Clyde's HP. That seems pretty good. Precision dodge. Wait. 
Why does it say 500? Does it uh, increase? Uh, oh, immediately following a precision dodge, square can be used to execute precision strike. Triangle can be used to precision shot. Oh, mastery extends trigger window. There we go. Battle techniques, precision dodge, precision counter, precision counter shot. All right. Lunge. What does that do? Mastery. Increases lunge distance. Ability potency increases with distance. I really enjoy the lunge. I'm going to upgrade that. Now, the one thing I didn't do was the sword thing. Charge magic and magic bursts. Triangle immediately after landing a melee attack. I tried to do this. I, didn't, I, I, had a, I found it was, I had a hard time comboing that together. Wasn't there one where I could, like, charge up the sword? Burning Blade. Hold square to imbue Clive's blade with fire. Release to unleash a powerful attack. I tried this, too. Can break an enemy's guard. Will lift small enemies when executed in midair. Can parry enemy attacks when timed precisely. Reduces the time. I only have 60 points left, though, so I think we'll hang on to those. Ooh, what's this? Uh, another newcomer. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. Well, they've got a jail, so someone's clearly going to be put into jail. Probably us. That's, by the way, that's an old way of spelling jailer. Gowler. Washroom floors all Leather day. sounds. It'll hold for now. And I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Then you'll need to speak with Blackthorn. He's a surly fellow, isn't he? Or you could just grab one of these swords. Your weapon look pretty sweet. A lot of the ruins are underwater in there. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. Ah. All she needs is a little reminding. Ah. <laughs> is everyone named after the profession here? Reader. <laughs> Studious soul. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. Tyre. Oh, but there are other people that have brands, right? She can remove it. Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. An infirm bear. Doesn't look much like a bear. These apples are all foul. In. Can't even talk to the uh, barkeep. I think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely, are we, August? <laughs> Cursebreaker captain, easygoing soldier. Spooty bard! <laughs> when lightning struck, his yoke did break, his life his own again. With thunder's roll, he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. Well, what do you think? I woke this morn inspired. Oh, I don't, I don't talk. <laughs> I do want to find out about Taria. Residents. Fizz. 
Physiker? Physiker. I think. A Sid's hideaway. Tarya is an expert in all manner of medicines and medical interventions. Skills that are indispensable in their deadland home. Where they cannot call on healing magics. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the hideaway from his expedition to the Nysa Defile, she's placed into Tarya's care. Got the Fallen, an ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the le length and breadth of Belistia. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel. It cannot be worked by modern methods. So the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. The Deadlands are barren wastes bereft of ether, where no life stirs and magic is all but unusable, but they are able to grow apples. Hmm. Does that mean apples are undead? Here, both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has spread over more widely displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceable fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. Seemed like there was some non-black water over there. Sid's hideaway, a refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near indestructible fallen ruins and considerable ingenuity have led to the establishment of a safe haven where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just about able to eke out an albeit meager existence. I guess the, um, the fallen ruins is, keeps that uh, blight at bay. The implication. Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Sorry. I thought there was a guy that was walking up the steps. He's like been working on getting up them all day. Oh, that's who was talking to me. Ah, that's just another way up. I like to look around everywhere. But, uh, the reservoir, the pharaohs. I think we pretty much have been everywhere now. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. Comfy. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield, a bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines, with orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? This isn't the kind of game where we get to make a choice. 
Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. So each icon has an evil twin. Years I've waited for this chance. I slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. We're gonna. My last. Let ourselves get captured? Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. So we have it confirmed that our brother's dead. At least, or at least we That's think right, he's ready, dead. Then. I don't think we really saw the, the body, You'll right? Find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. Wait, did I even talk to old Nan? I think I missed her. A blacksmith. To the forge it is then. Oh wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. What is that? Continental rum? <laughs> Wait. Oh. Forge is down the end. Just follow the sound of Blackthorn's hammer. I <laughs> feel like we did a little jump before That's talking to him. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? There's no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? So, uh, I guess they're surly blacksmith until we learn their names, which I think is, is fair. Continental rum, a noisome spirit better suited to stripping oil from a painter's canvas than consumption. Grants overworked conscripts a few rare moments of sweet oblivion on their long, arduous sea journeys north from the continent. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. Are they playing on the word goat with that name? Goots? <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Yeah, they are Moogles. Bloody Imperials. Where's the Moogle? They'd I rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goots, mind. Crafting of new gear, as well as the upgrading of existing gear, can be done at the blacksmith. Yeah. As long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Yeah. So just select something to craft it. 
An iron belt. More leather than iron, it is nonetheless considered an improvement from the crude cording worn by Ackerman and Acolytes. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. A uh, uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Hmm. When something is changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates for Karen's Toll, and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer. There are also notices for new quests, new missives, many other things. Icon also appear in the game, as well as the local map to indicate recent updates. I suppose I should thank Goots. Uh, new recipes available. Let's take Why a look. Quick? Oh, let's ask about him. But I ain't the cook, am I? It's not fully voiced acted. Though if you've tasted Kenneth Brown, I might as well be. Look. Sid needed a smith, and I needed a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that the forge here is the hottest this side of hell. Or that it works without magic. I won't have no bearers suffering for me. You got anything needs repairing? Or retooling? You bring it here, along with your own materials. And any scraps left over, I keep. What'd you how, want? how is my voice, guys? <laughs> I need more right for a broadsword plus one. I can do iron bracers plus one. What about reinforcing? I can do iron belt plus two. Okay. My best work, but it'll do. Guess we'll get the iron bracers as well. No scratches, right? And do we anything else? What do we do with our old gear? I'm curious. Imperial infantry belts. Infantry bracers. Maybe we can sell it or something. Yeah. Uh. This one, I don't see like any cell value. So I wonder what we can do with those. I guess we'll find out later. So I guess that means that we have nothing. Gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. What's going on here? All right, we make them comfortable while the bed's made up. Well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? <sighs> Gotta do our part. What the hell have I got myself into? Yeah, let's just take a look at the map. Curmudgeon. <laughs> Love it. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, this 
rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Taya. Well, go on. Shift your ass. I think I'd probably take off that armor. It's pretty, pretty freaking heavy, 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 heavy. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. Yeah, she's pretty much my type. <laughs> He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. I like that there's no there, there's probably some loading going on, but it kind of just another fawn fades to black and it comes away. back. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Oh, Nan is Lady Karen. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. I was already welcome, uh, I thought. Side quests unlocked! Woo! The one thing I am noticing about kind of the I guess I'll call it the editing is some of the scenes are a little like they they're a little bit dragged out. Um, I do like to talk about game development, by the way, like game design and stuff that I notice. I tend to try to focus on the positive aspects of games, though, because they're all too damn negative. You know, there's there's a lot of a lot of great things about even, you know, some average to poor games that uh, I like to I like to focus on the positivity because I like to enjoy what I'm doing, you know, but I also like to uh, you know, notice some of the intricacies of the design. Keep an eye out for the green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate they have a quest to offer. Most of current and completed quests can be viewed on the journal tab in the main menu. The to do list uh, objectives for the main scenario are the red icon and then exclamation mark classic MMO. Uh, our side quests. Oh, three side quests can be can be displayed simultaneously. The to do list. Okay. Any quest can be prioritized in the journal tab in the main menu by uh, highlighting it, pressing X, and they'll uh, be displayed in the to do list until the quest is completed or another quest is given priority. Priority status for a quest can be removed by highlighting it and pressing X again. New hideaway features! The following hideaway facilities are now also now available. The Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium of all things Valicia. The Orchest Orchestrion, a personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Both are located in the hideaway's eatery, the Fat Chocobo. Oh man, I want to make a, a, like a bar, like a video game bar called the Fat Chocobo. Ah, oh, that would be cool. That would be living the life. Serve drinks, hang out with people and play games, talk about them. It can be found on the local map, open by pressing the touchpad. Who are these people? Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, pad. <laughs> I 
I just love that it's called Hide Hideaway. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. <laughs> Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. What would Clive's uh, again. NPC name be? Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Brooding swordsman. <laughs> In the comment section, I want I want you guys to put your ideas for the NPC name for Clive. I my my first idea is brooding swordsman. Both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops. Of course they can. Ah, the stock changes story progresses. Good. And we can sell here too. Okay. Any reason to hang on to our uh, to our junk? Look like it. You got out else? I'm be thankful you got that much. Uh, this is like crafting materials, right? Yeah. Potions. Hello, hello, hello. Even in the hands of an untrained soldier, the broadsword can prove a deadly weapon, which is why it remains a popular choice for armies across the twins. It also doesn't hurt that the pig iron blades are extremely simple and inexpensive to forge. Yes, I want that. Cannot find a better price than that. Potions, high potions. Sell this. Fifty. I'm be thankful you got that much. Sell all valuables. So there's a way to sell. You uh, bulk sell. That's all. Why you barely a guilty your name? You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. Pet your dog! Clive. <laughs> pet your, pet your frickin' pet the dog! Hate, I hate this game. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Arit Stone? Customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities. Train against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available as Clive progresses through the story. Eat. Hone your uh, battle skills in a customizable training area. I'm doing fine. Oh, I have to do it. Can I just leave? Guess I have to do it. Maybe there's some story part to this. Okay. Fully customizable battlescapes. Clive a safe location to test out new abilities. Oh, okay, there we go. 
Whoa, that's cool. Stay down. Okay, and how do I how do I leave? Input, display, action log, invincibility, regen, eat, and training. There you go. That's really cool. I don't really need to train though. I'm, I'm a natural. Definitely need to use that the charging abilities You're to combo up. I like that the combos getting or the combat's mm. getting more complicated. Leaving already, ah, yeah. A little deeper. It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. <laughs> Fast travel. Okay. New locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story or discovering way marks known as obelisks. World map will open automatically upon leaving an area. Also be accessed via the main menu. Bake for the Great Wood. Is there anything else we want to do here? I mean, yeah, I kind of want to get some some of these side quests. Do you think we should go and help. It sounds like Otto has it. Don't think I haven't noticed you. Sid can take some getting used to. But his heart's in the right place. Give him a chance. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. <laughs> no. Lank locked bearer. Kenneth the kitchen head. Ah, Go fetch me some face. chicken eggs. And dare I hope a chocobo eggs. Hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Mm. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. How do we feel about doing side quests? Guys, let me know in the comments section. I kind of like I'm playing a lot of games right now, and I kind of don't love a lot of side quests in these games. If there's like battle challenges, I think that would be fun. But like delivery quests are kind of eh. But we'll do this. I don't see why not. See how it is. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. That's clearly the same meal just rotated. Prioritize that quest! <laughs> How long has it been? Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> And so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. Speaking of giving things for the trouble, please do think about subscribing to the channel. I don't ask very often. We're starting a new uh, series. Think about subscribing. And if you have some extra money, think about becoming a member or leaving a super thank you. I'll support what I do here. And thank you to all my patrons and members. Super thanks, gifters, and uh, everyone that leaves a comment, likes the video, and subscribers. Thank you guys for all the support over the years. I truly appreciate it, and I love you all. Let's see what this person has to say. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. 
Oh. Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. I like this a lot. They're really kind of establishing that this is a, a safe haven. Where's the final one? Oh, the, oh, the jukebox! <laughs> uh, background music playing the hideaway can be changed. Oh, that's so neat. They had the ju jukeboxes in the Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I did uh, playthroughs here on the channel if you guys want to watch that. I never did the um, the DLC. I'll have to do that before the... Um, re re what's what's the, the, the second one called? Revival? Re Matrix Revolutions? Oh. Uh, that's nice. Let's play that for a bit. When lightning struck okay, you're already saying that. You already told me that. Now, come on. Uh, snooping time. <laughs> Since that here. Through all the papers. Wait, what? I, oh, that was the owl. Still can't go in there, right? to next for now we rest in the group i heard they escaped their masters in the imperial capital by the look of those bruises you another one of sid strays what we all are little ones big ones and everything in between we're a damn sight better off here than out there in the world this is this feels very final fantasy digging it what's going on here oh, this whole place is falling apart Jeff Roy, head carpenter? Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, uh, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? What? No, no, <laughs> no reward. Oh, okay. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway. Place. I'd be happy to. Takes a lot to. of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, you can say that again. The fallen knew their craft, make no mistake. But not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the white ads. They'll point you in the right direction. I'll Thanks show you again. my white ads. I really appreciate the help. Prioritize! I just wanted to see... Okay, so there we go. The other one appears on the list. Ah, oh, there's the... Oh, they're adorable. Sorry. Where's this person I have to deliver to? Leave me be. I guess I went the wrong way. We should go and help. Oh, I totally missed this uh, area, I think. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe 
If I can master this... All right, but... See that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. Probably already is cold. Ran That's around the last one. I better let Kenneth know. The wizened man, or wizened, wizened man. Yours is not a familiar face. Look at that beard. That's Are you sweet. new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. That's uh... <laughs> quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes, on account of the. Uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. Uh, what's, uh, what about you? When I was very young. I lived beyond these shoals. My father would read to me every night from the only book we had. A History of Alistheia by Moss the Chronicler. So enchanted was I by this realm of myth and magic that when I was of age, I enlisted as a deckhand on a merchant galley that I might see it with my own eyes. Yet... When I arrived, what I found was a land of war and suffering, darkened by the blight and the evil in men's hearts. Still, I was determined to follow in the footsteps of Moss and record what I could. So I did, in all manner of places and all manner of rules, till my aging legs could carry me no longer. Fortunately, Sid found me by the roadside, so to speak and offered me a place here where I might continue my studies, albeit without the wandering. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. Is there literally a thousand books to read? Comprehensive compendium of Valisian lore, covering everything from basic terms to important persons, geography, and history. New information is constantly added as Clive progresses through the story. Past active time lore entries can also be viewed here. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Oh, we're, we're t ah, that's cool. We tell them about what our adventures. What we consider today? So it's, huh. Now, do we have to actually read the lore or is it just, this is, automatically going to get updated even if we didn't check it out and we can search through it guys this is one of the best things i have seen in a game like this it's 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 great for me because i, I play a bunch of different games and i'll record a bunch and then come back to it and kind of like forget i'm also not very good at remembering names and uh, relationships very well because i've just experienced so many stories like i played so many games seen so many movies read so many books you know it's just it's hard for me to remember the details uh for whatever reason this is great that i can see what's relevant at the time when i choose or i can come here and like search for specific things i kind of wish dark souls had this too because it's so hard to like remember an item description that you found like on something at the beginning of the game and when it's re it becomes relevant like later on very, very cool. For now, I'm good. You are always welcome, Clive. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what the internet's for, but I prefer it to be in the game. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. 
The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? What if I desire to kill with the contents? of this right oh but i already i already crafted the thing that we used it i think i needed it to craft a weapon countless treasure coffers lie yeah i get it go on no one's looking <laughs> can't get open badge of metal i hope this isn't like make the game easier thing The strength of a city is defined by the guard that mans its walls. The strength of a city guard is defined by the pride in their hearts and the laurels on their breasts. This badge provides its wearers with one of the two. See, this is the increased defense by 10. Yeah. I'm down for, I'm down for this. Obviously, better gear makes the game easier anyways, but I kind of want to play on the quote unquote normal difficulty. It's nice to see the hideaway finally coming alive. It wasn't so long ago us old hands were ratting about the place like peas in a bucket. But I also like that they do that. And I kind of like that way of doing difficulty. Um you could say that some of the Souls games are like that too. They don't have a difficulty um to choose from, but you can level up to get stronger to make the game easier. You can summon things. You can get help from people. Um, you can equip certain things to make it easier. Um, oh yeah, and I just wanted to say one more thing about the lore stuff being in the game. For me, I can avoid spoilers, right? I can look stuff up and not know. If I look stuff up on the internet, I might accidentally see some spoilers for what's going to happen later on, so... I think it's awesome. I appreciate the effort. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. Oh, no, hey, what's that all. guy doing? The assistance. Looks like that guy's just, they're just standing there. Why don't they freaking do it? <laughs> Here we are. I better get this to Jeffrey, was it? I guess it's that Jeffroy. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. I don't think we need to read up on will the this be blank item description. This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We get these we're views safe, too, which are nice. So we do the side quest. What could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. Is it his shirt? <laughs> There's no need to. That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. All I have to offer is to shirt off my back. It's not on my back now, but... Meteorite and gill bug? Contrary to popular belief, this small insect does not get its name from its appearance, but rather from the fact that it is highly sought after by... F physicers. I can't, like, for some reason, my, my mind cannot process that word. For use in brewing medicines, in summer, when the beetles are most numerous, children across the realm will spend nigh every waking hour collecting specimens in readiness to exchange them for a handful of coppers. 
handful of gill, right? As children have tiny hands, however, this amounts to fewer than one might expect. Oh, it's a valuable. Okay. Let's try that fancy button that we uh, that we found. And what do you want? Go on then. Sell. Wonderful. Finished, are you? Let's make for the great wood. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? Oh. Wait, did I go the right way? Yeah. Let's make for the great wood. Guess I could have just opened the map before, right? So deep and vast is the Great Wood, it serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire. While citizens deter foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest's everlasting night. To the Great Wood! 